Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect an Xbox One controller to an iOS device such as an iPad or an iPhone. Um, I didn't realize you could do this. I really like being able to have mobile games, but one thing I don't like about mobile games is the touch interface. I'm a console gamer. I'm really used to playing with a controller. So to be able to use an Xbox controller, uh, Xbox One controller with an iPad or an iPhone, it's going to need to be a Bluetooth um, controller. So these are um, some of the earlier controllers are only Wi-Fi and the later controllers are Bluetooth and you can tell uh, the difference. This is a Bluetooth one. You can see up the top here it's got the smooth transition um, between the main body and the surrounding of the home button there. With the old Wi-Fi ones, there's actually a section here. There's a hard uh, barrier. Um, you'll find out pretty quickly uh, either way you, when you try and pair it with your um, iPhone or iPad. Now, the second thing you need is iOS 13 or above. So if, you don't, if you've got an earlier version uh, of the iOS, you're going to need to update it. If you've got 13 um, or above, um, then you're, you can play. You can't play just any game. They need to be a special kind of game called MFI games or MFI supported games. So I've got a list uh, of all the games here and I'll leave a link uh, in the description of this video. So basically how you do this, it's very, very simple. First of all, you are going to go to the settings on your iPad or iPhone and you're going to find the Bluetooth and then here you can see that I've previously connected this so I'm going to temporarily forget this device if it's going to let me actually I'll just switch Bluetooth off and back on again and I'll forget this device so I can show you how to set it up from scratch now for me it's a little bit buggy Bluetooth can be a little bit buggy so first of all I'm going to switch Bluetooth off and then all I'm going to do is turn on my Xbox controller by holding down the home button until I see the power come on there. And then I'm going to hold down the pairing button on the top here until the light starts flashing a little bit faster. Then I'm going to switch the Bluetooth on my iPad. And then it should come up here. Bluetooth pairing request Xbox wireless controller would like to pair. And I'm going to click pair see how it came up under other devices. So um, the first time I tried to set this up, it was, um, it took me a couple of goes. It can be a little bit buggy, but it, see like this, I'm gonna click on the Xbox wireless controller. And then after a couple of goes, it, it seems to work fine. So I'm going to see whether I can get this now working with an MFI game. This is a really old school um, iOS game that I used to play on one of my very early, um, iPhones that I had. I think it might have been an iPhone 3 or something like that. And let me go. Don't allow. So I haven't tested uh, whether this works yet. So this is supposedly um, a MFI game. So there we go. Let me just turn the volume down there. This is working perfectly. This is a very simple game. Um, let me see whether the D-pad's going to work for me. Um, oh, so this is... I, I, as I could remember, I don't think I can actually move forward or backwards in this game. It's just a simple touch the screen. So, um, it's super duper simple. Um, but I, I'll have a lot more fun playing this with my controller than I would uh, tapping on the actual screen and it allows me to sit back a little bit um, I've got a little stand for my Xbox here um, and uh, for my iPad rather and you know I can just play to my heart's content so um, apparently you can play Fortnite like this as well although the problem is that uh, Fortnite have recently or oh, Epic Games have use this free no I don't want to use that okay whatever um, yeah the epic games have recently um, come afoul um, with the um, with the Apple 
over some of their business practices. So Fortnite is no longer available on the App Store or the Android Store. Um, so uh, it's gonna t it's gonna take me a little while to get used to this, but you know when you switch over to a controller, there isn't really any lag. It's actually it's actually very good. There's a little bit of lag on my computer screen. Maybe I should stop looking at my computer screen. It, there's absolutely no lag between my controller um, and my um, iPad here. So yeah, so if you haven't heard recently, um, the uh, Epic Games um, were not very happy with the business practices of Apple, so they um, they did something, and Apple got annoyed at them, and and they took their games off uh, the the Apple Store. So um, I, I'm assuming that at some point this is probably going to be rectified. Um, so when you can get Fortnite back. The other game uh, that I heard you can play is uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, there's a lot of MFI games, and for those console players who don't really like um, using the touch interface, especially when there's multiple controls, like when you have to hold two fingers down on the screen or tap it, it feels, it just feels so much more familiar uh, to have that Xbox controller in your hand. So as you can see here, um, this is a big list of um, paid and free um, MFI games. So I might have a good look through here. Um, there looks like looks like some pretty good games there. There's an Assassin's Creed game that might be cool. Um, I'll check some of these out. I'll let you know if any of them are really good. And um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. And uh, if you haven't already, I would love to have you on board as a subscriber and make sure you hit the notifications bell so that you see my videos on your feed when they come up, all to do with video games, music production, technology, things like that. So I'll see you in the next video and have a good day, everyone.